Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of Trail Makers. And today, I've got another invention that I'm cooking up, and this one is, I, I think it's going to be entertaining. I think it's going to be silly, and it's going to be amazing all at the same time. Or, maybe it won't work. Now, you may be wondering why I have this thing spawned in here, when clearly, this is not about cars. Uh, this is about catapults or something of that nature. Uh, that is because this is what inspired this idea. Just the idea of uh, stacking a bunch of suspension on top of each other and the the weird floppiness that ensues. Uh, I thought, how cool would it be to actually use this tension and this floppiness to try to launch a projectile? And the vision that I have in mind is to create a bas basically a suspension powered catapult. And I'm going to use magnets to grab the suspension and hopefully i don't even know if this is gonna work but hopefully i'll be able to pull it back and place it under extreme tension which is you know obviously uh always a hundred percent safe and reasonable thing to do nothing can go wrong when you start placing things under extreme tension in real life or in video games yeah and then uh once we let go of the magnets will it will it provide enough force to launch perhaps a stick of dynamite a certain distance away from ourselves and not destroy ourselves. What is this car doing? I found another new mode. I've invented another new mode of transportation. This is called, um, this is called the suspension slide. And it's where you, you put a bunch of suspension on your vehicle and have it lean to the side and it causes you to slide across the ground. Uh, as you can see, there's no, the engines are off. It's very, very fuel efficient. It's, uh, very green as well. Uh, the wear and tear on the tires gets a little extreme over time, so you will have to replace tires more often, but it kind of evens out not having to buy fuel every couple of days. So yeah, if any of like the, you know, the Elon Musk of the world need an inventor to revolutionize the automotive industry, uh, just, just give me a call. Send me, a, shoot me an email. You comment down below. Just, I'll, I'll find you in the YouTube comments. That's probably the best way to reach me, to be honest. Okay, suspension catapult. We got to build this idea. We got to be able to actually do it. Does the suspension even work the way that I'm thinking it's going to work? Uh, let's go ahead and place a base down with an anchor block so it's going to be stuck into the ground. We don't have to worry about it tipping over or anything. Now, let's take some suspension and just stack this on up. And as a quick test, just to see if this thing flexes, I'm going to take a whole stack of weights and offset it from the center here. And we're going to see how this behaves. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, that looks like it has potential. That does look like it has potential. It flexes, it bends, and it seems to be trying to correct that by going back up straight. So if we pull this thing down, assuming that the rest of the structure can handle the tension, uh, I think we have some potential here. So now let's focus on, ooh, you know what I could do to make things even? I could even double this up. So we have twice the amount of tension just like that. All right, so now I need the mechanism to pull this thing back. My initial idea was to use pistons to kind of reach out and grab it and then contract, but I don't think they're gonna be strong enough. Instead, I'm going to use rotational force using a, rota a rotating servo. You know, I just realized I don't need to use magnets because detachable blocks are a thing I almost forgot about. All right, I think we're ready for a proof of concept test here. Why is it already leaning? That's not good. All right, so when I press S, it should bend it back. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that looks good actually. That, oh, no, I can't go that way. My bad. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so this is working as intended. Now let's see if we release. Does it actually fling up as if it's under tension and could potentially lost, launch something? Here we go. Three, two, one. Release. I'm sorry, what? What? Oh, no. It's doing the... Th oh, this is bad. Oh, I think we may have ruined it somehow. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. This goes down. If that release, it, that doesn't make any sense. It's still detecting it as attached, even though it is not attached. So what this tells me is maybe the magnet idea is actually needed here. Yeah, it also turns out magnets don't have an impact on your own creation, which I guess I should have known. So, aha, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. We're going back to detachable blocks. All right, so now this, 
is going to be able to apply it under tension. So that hook is not attached to this mechanism pulling it down at all. However, when I press space, the detachable block will detach that entire hook, which should then send the spring hopefully back up. Let's see if this works as intended now. In three, two, one, launch. Hey, I think this is gonna work. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right, now I've got an explosive on here. Let's see how this thing flings up with that explosive. Forgot the, the explosive by default. Uh, I get to sign to the same button. Oh no, 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 I didn't want to repair that. No, 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 please be in the history. Okay, all right, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so now what happens? Whoops, <laughs> don't worry about that, perfectly normal. And launch. Okay, it's not the strongest. Maybe if I add some more tension, it could be even stronger. Let's try to time it. How do we time this? We gotta make it so that these detachable blocks will release the explosives at the appropriate time. So let's try it with a sensor, see what happens. I'm just gonna have a sensor facing this way. So now I can bring this back and then I arm the sensor just like that. And let's see if this works. Three, two, one, launch. It did not work. It did not detect it the first time it went through for some reason, why? All right, sensor is armed. Let's watch the sensor here. Wow. It just simply does not detect it. Okay, well, the other way to do it is just to guesstimate how much of a delay between releasing the tension and launching the uh, explosive. So let's see if we do 0 0.2 seconds. Is that gonna be too much? We'll find out. This is also kind of dependent on how far back I pull it down. All right, take two, here we go. And go. Oh, I gotta set it to toggle. 0.2 seconds, here we go. Too early, actually. But, that was a launch. That was a real launch. This is turning into a real weapon. After I get this dialed in, you know we're gonna have to try to actually hit things with it. All right, so 0.2 wasn't enough. Let's double it, let's go to 0.4. All right, and launch. That actually seemed almost perfect. Let's try it again. And launch. Maybe it's a little bit late. I'll go, I'll, go, I'll try 0.35. Actually, that time it seemed fine though. It's gonna vary, I think. But before we get to that, let's actually, uh, let's quadruple these suspension things up. So we have, we'll see if more tension equals better performance. All right, there we go. Now we got twice as much suspension. So in real life, that should equal twice as much tension, I believe. Let's see if this feels like it goes faster. And launch. Yes. We gotta bring it back down to point two. That's for sure. All right, and launch. <gasps> this has exceeded all of my expectations on that launch just there. That was amazing. I can't believe how far it goes. Okay, hold on. We got to get a nice cinematic view of this. All right, we get that down there. All right, you ready for this? We're going to go uh, free cam. We're going to go like this angle right here. All right, we're ready. Three, two, one, launch. That is so cool. I I really didn't think that this was going to be that strong of a, of a launch mechanism. I thought the suspension was going to be weaker than this. I mean, granted, how many suspension do I have? Like a million? I mean, it must be approaching that at least. All right, it's time to put this thing to the test. Fortunately, uh, from the last Trailmakers video, I've got these already pre-made buildings that we can launch these explosives at. You know what, just for the sake of like ultra realism, let's just spawn in a couple of these cars. Cause you know, if there's buildings, there's bound to be cars nearby. All right, I am ready for first. Okay, well that just messed up all of my distance measuring, didn't it? All right, I'm ready for the first shot. Here we go, in three, two, one, launch. Looking bad, looking bad, looking good. Oh my goodness. I thought it was gonna go between the buildings. Oh, I almost got a domino effect. All right, that first shot, one for one. We're doing great so far. All right, shot number two. Where did that, oh, that one really, is that gonna go way behind? We got a direct hit on a car. The car has been decimated. All right, I'm going for another shot. Let's aim a little bit farther this way. 
I should have put like a... Oh, that's not how that's supposed to work. And launch! I should have put like a, a rotating servo so I could turn this thing. Oh wow, I hit the same car again. So I could turn this thing like a turret, but it kind of works just to press R in the direction that you're facing anyway. Okay, hold on. Oh, no, no, this doesn't work. Oh, there we go. Now it works. <laughs> oh, this is sketchy. <laughs> oh, there it goes. All right, come on. Hit something, hit something, hit something. We're, I think we've gotten 100% damage rate so far. Every single shot has done something. All right, shot number, I don't know, four. Is this four, five? This is so good. All right, let's see if I can, um, all right, I'm gonna launch, immediately repair, go back to, ah, oh, it keeps glitching through. Come on, oh, we got a hit anyway. Why well, won't it, it keeps glitching right through. Maybe I should change the speed. Okay, launch, repair. Oh, oh man, again, oh my goodness. Thing's doing some real damage. So hopefully this, even though it's gonna pull back slower, will have less of a chance of mess ups, meaning we can launch, repair, pull back, launch, repair, pull back, launch, repair. We're not getting any, oh, we're getting a little bit of damage. Ooh, that got a little bit of damage too. This is actually really nice. Oh, that went way too far to the side. I don't think I'm aimed really well right now. Nope, yeah, I gotta, uh, Oh, that was like a direct line right there. Not far enough though. All right, let's do some more rapid fire. See how this goes. Ooh, right on the top of the building. How's that one gonna be? Oh, I just missed it. Still did some damage to the bottom there though. Oh, another direct hit right at the base, taking the whole building down with it. That one's gonna go. Oh, a little bit of damage to the base. Not enough to bring it down though. All right, we gotta bring this last building down. There it is. There it is, just like that. All right, clearly this is a superior siege weapon, but it, it wouldn't be fair if we didn't uh, launch ourselves in this thing. All right, here we go. <laughs> we pull ourselves down and launch. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. <laughs> and that, where'd the seat go? What? <laughs> But that is what it is like to be a, um, a projectile in a suspension catapult. However, I want to do first person. Let's at least try first person and see what that feels like. Okay, here we go. First person into catapult. We are cocked and ready to go. Three, two, one, launch! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I thought I would rotate with the seat, but apparently not. And we're fine. We're just perfectly fine. See, I told you, 100% safe and effective, putting things under massive tension like that. There's no safety issues whatsoever. Once again, Scrapman Industries uh, leading the way for safety and innovation and making a brighter future for all. If you guys have any other suggestions of wacky experiments you want to see in Trailmakers, let me know down in the comments below. If you liked this, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.